Hi guys, it's your Tuesday host, ShyWitch88, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys my altar. So I'm going to take you through a little walk. A walk through? Better off? There you go. Uh, so right now you're staring at the centre of it. Uh, the black cloth underneath doesn't stretch that far, so yeah, put it in the middle. Um, and the, these cards here are the Major Arcana of a Tarot deck, which I'm trying to sort of go over and look at and get my own definitions for and so I split them up like this and I just have them on my altar really just charging and stuff then if you see that bowl there that's where I put herbal blends to charge when I mix them and things like that my book of shadows is there and then here I have a FMA made from willow tree uh, willow tree is the tree that I connect with the most, and it's the only thing made out of it that I have, so... And I don't really use my Athermade, but like I said, willow tree, great energy, and when I do use it, I can just pull it out because it fits perfectly there. And it's got the little... oops, it's got the little triquatra, and I love that symbol, so... And at the top of my altar um, is my favourite stone ever, which is citrine, and it's a cluster, obviously. <laughs> And for me, citrine is so powerful that it can represent any, if not all, energies. I know that sounds crazy, but seriously, like, just because of the deep colour, you've got, like, little light bits, and it's just a great energy that you can use for any working, because it's so powerful. Like, it embodies power, and just everything, sort of protection, energy, general energy, um, pump through your altar, an energy field... Um, sexuality, passion, sexual passion if you want, even if you work with um, sex magic. Um, even a great connection stone when you're working with spirits and things. So because of all those sort of energies that incorporates and many, many more, I like to keep it here. It's the one thing that never changes on my altar. And I've got some tea lights, and the reason they're not um, lit is because I'm not using them at the moment, so... Uh, any workings go in the middle, obviously, and if I'm doing readings and there's no working going, then it'll go there as well. If I um, am doing a working, I'll just do the reading on my bed or a table. I'm not quite fussy about that. Okay, then that black pouch has my tarot, my runes in it. There you go. And then we've got this corner here. And this corner is my spirit corner. It's where I have all my spirit related things to do with spirit work. So I have my skull there, and it's not real, it's made from plastic, so that's there. And then I have black a black candle and a red candle, and these two candles are going to be constant. It's um, I'll light them when I'm doing any working to the spirits, uh, also to honour the spirits, and it's just because red for me is very protective, so it's black, and it's sort of the two colours I initiate with spirits and life and death, so I keep those there and a sort of an offering which is a herbal blend which I created I can't really burn incense especially loose incense unless like my parents are gone for the day or something because they're not too great with smoke have a little angel here for the catholic side of my family since I'm, this is also an ancestor altar, I don't have much room in here to make various altars, so that's there to sort of represent them and also for protection. And then I have this here for me, this is a charging block as well, but also to represent my religion, the linking of them both. I then have th this candle, which is a cinnamon spice, and that's lit for them as well as an offering, and thus ancestors and spirits. Here is my spirit oil, my, oops, my Santa Muerte oil. I feel incredibly guilty not to have her on my altar, I feel like she deserves to be on here. And like I said, I don't have room for many altars, so I feel like the best place for her would be in the spirit altar. So, yeah. And I also have this, and this was painted for me by another YouTuber who sent me the angel, because we both have um, a thing for angels, really. And this is going to be on my altar, but I can't find anywhere on here that it doesn't slip and fall. But that will be put on there as soon as I figure it all out. 
It's a little rosary which my mother got me from the Vatican, blessed by the Pope. Um, it's very important to, important to me for that reason. Uh, and I've dedicated it to La Santísima Muerte. So that's on here as well. And then we come over to this side. And this side, here is just like a candle holder where I do like miniature little workings and things. At the moment it's not really <laughs> stuck down like it should be. Because someone decided to yank at it. And I have this. Um, I don't really know what I use this for, I'm not going to lie, I haven't used it before, but I just like to have it on my altar. It can be a really good focus point. And then I have my cauldron, motor and pestle. Empty, empty little salt thing, container, I have to fill that up. And then that little jar right there, and that one there, were my very first uh, spell bottles, I think that's what you call them. I have a different word for them, but yeah. And then my general luck oil. My tarot deck, different to this one. It's just the one that I'm doing more readings with at the moment. And then that jar there, the like brownish water, that I didn't have snow water, I didn't have sea water or anything like that. So it's just tap water with sea salt, frankincense and myrrh crushed. Um, and I use it to cleanse and charge my altar when I feel like it needs it. So yeah. And then I have my working candle there. On a little gold plate. And then this is my... Ooh! That didn't go very well. <laughs> and this is my totem animal stone, which I carry mainly through travel and things. Um, and that goes on here. But I'm very connected to the wolf, which is, which leads me on to this. It's a little wolf staring directly where any workings will take place. Um, the wolf for me it always has to be present in whatever I do. I don't meditate that much because I can't actually meditate. I, I literally I just can't do it. Um, but I like to involve the wolf and the form of the wolf in any way that I can because I feel like it has some personality traits and then some personality traits that I don't have I'd love to have so yeah, the wolf is quite... my totem animal is a very big part of what I do especially for protection and strength and things like that and I just feel like... I don't feel very lonely when I'm doing my practice I'm solitary and I don't... sorry I cut off someone call but yeah, it's a big part of what I do I don't feel so lonely because being in a coven I don't think that setting would suit me very well so, it's almost a way of not being so... Oops, sorry. A way of not being so alone. So there you go, there's my altar. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Remember to subscribe, leave a topic choice you would like us to cover, and keep in tune for the other hosts' videos. Can't wait to see them. So, bye.